Thanks for staying with us. Now, before we share our Christmas day with you, and let, um, I would like to invite Alpha Saleh to perform a special song for Isi. She actually requested for this song. <laughs> so, Alpha, over to you. Are you there? Yeah, I am. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I'll be playing Silent Nights today. Yeah. back again for another special song thank well thank you. you so much alpha thank you all right so it's christmas evening and i am so sure we've had a lovely day filled with lots of activities like family visits hosting cooking cleaning eating and lots of gist and laughter so let us hear how you spent your christmas and what you did differently this christmas remember you can join this conversation tweet at us at wish you africa one with the hashtag we show or send us an sms or whatsapp to 081 8038 Thank you so much again, Alpha. So, Isi, that was for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you were the you only so one that sent Alpha. in your request. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Merry so, let, let me hear you. Um, what does Christmas mean to you first? Ah, oh, Christmas is um, the time I usually have to um, think, bond, and uh, give. Usually, given to those that are close to me and even those that are not so close to me, especially the needy. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to me because it's not just about Jesus Christ, but it's the time to be humane. You know, you're able to come um, connect with others on a, on a lighter note mm -hmm. instead of, you know, being aggressive or angry. You know, it, Christmas just brings that beautiful feeling of living free, being mm -hmm. nice, and being humane. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Mori Coco. Right here, presents. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a Muslim. So it's important we keep on telling people that you are a Muslim. But you, you must have fun memories of Christmas season and what is, I mean, mm. what usually happens and all of that. So maybe you should share some of the fun things you love about Christmas. Okay, I'm going to share my most exciting memory. So growing up, right, before like I moved out of the house and got married and everything, we had this neighbor um, that was Christian. So every morning, we used to wake up to the sound of her pounding yam because I think wow. she was on door or something. <laughs> and then she always made it with this amazing, yummy, delicious, beautiful soup. <laughs> so we're always like cooking. Everybody was always at the door waiting for when the neighbor would bring the food and everybody would just eat it in the same bowl because they used to serve it in like this fancy bowl. So mm. It was just, it made me always look forward to waking up, you know, Christmas um, mm. Christmas morning. Especially given that you are a foodie, Mori. Mm. Who will deliver you for yes. food? <laughs> I don't know. That thing is, we well, have gone past that conversation. Everybody has tried. <laughs> <laughs> and they have not succeeded. <laughs> Nope, nobody can succeed. We've gone past this. That's not why I'm suffering what I'm suffering today. Food. Eh? But it's okay. No problem. Next time, just <laughs> come to the right source for the food. We'll give you the we'll give you the one that will not give you food poison. <laughs> and I, saw right. for me. I saw the jollof that you made jollof and grilled chicken. Yeah. So yeah. So for Thank me, you. today was very interesting for me. Uh, first of all, my fond memories of Christmas. Um growing up, my mom, you know, my mom actually ran a restaurant for many years mm -hmm. and the restaurant catered to many dignitaries we didn't just i mean so this was when cardinal state was cardinal state when the nmpc was working the textile companies were working the refineries i mean then the brewery companies mm -hmm. you know so many industries were working then mm -hmm. so lunchtime 
it was chaotic. It they used to come with buses. So we literally used to ship a set of staff bus to go quickly get up and finish eating mm. the new set. Then there was Church and Gi Airline. The staff would come mm. with their ma massive coolers and all of that. Mm. So we are a food family, right? Mm. My mom is a caterer. You know, she's done that all her life. And so for us, Christmas morning, as in we, we did all the works. Chin chin. Um, you fry, there's nothing she doesn't fry. You mm. fry puff puff, you fry, uh, we call it kose, that's akara. Okay. You know, we call, you fry that. So many things, there's so mm. many things to munch on. Mm -hmm. There's chicken, she loves life, my mother and life chicken, you can't separate them. Are you serious? She doesn't like anything frozen. <laughs> frozen. You know, because when you live in the north, literally everything you eat has to be fresh. Mm -hmm. So it was when I got to the south that I started eating things that are like, um. You know, the first time I actually went to the north was when I found out that meat was cheap. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, so, eyes. I mean, it was live chicken, she will kill, you can kill like 15 live chicken, my mother is a chicken, so <laughs> what she would have done, she would have paid ahead of time, mm -hmm. they will be, they will be uh, grooming it, whatever, you're breeding yes. it for her, so when it's time, she brings she the chicken, so that's when you up. eat jollof rice, eat everything, mm -hmm. you know, but there was something beautiful she would always do, mm -hmm. so all the people on our street, mm -hmm. right, she would cook, so she used to cook massive, you know those massive pots, mm -hmm. they call it again, I don't know, what, yes, so those massive pots, she would cook and put them in coolers. And like mm. Mori, we were also Christians that had Muslim neighbors. Okay. And our own Muslim neighbors was not the normal Muslim neighbor. It's not mm. those kind of compounds that they had many houses around them. So mm. we would give each family coolers of rice mm. and, you know, chicken and everything. So it was just so much fun and so much memories. And mm. I think also, I also imbibe that culture, but I've not done it so much lately. When I was living in Magodo, mm. you know, my house in Magodo, mm. when I, Christmas morning, I would cook and I would take it, all the security on that street. I would give mm. to them, you know, so but when I got a lot busier, so what I just, I just give raw rice. Yes. And I used to give raw, um, live chicken as well. You okay. know, so that's for me, that's the fun memory I have for Christmas mm. because I like the quote that we talked about. It just activates something, uh, something charitable in you, right? That you now Absolutely. start to think of giving as opposed mm. just, you know, just eating and mm. all of those things, you know. And the good thing about... Um, what did you do with your friends? For, for which uh, one? Growing uh, up or No, while now? you're growing up during Christmas. So, that's, so that, the thing is, my mom is not so much of a fan of going to people's houses. Mm -hmm. She would rather host people in her house because okay. she's the one. My mom, you really cannot please her with food. Because she's a, mm. actually a good because cook. She knows what she yes, yes. She so you really, so she would rather people actually used to come because they know that they will eat very good food mm. <laughs> that day. So we we had people come over mm. to the house. Then of course Christmas dresses. Mm. Ah, my mother can shop for Africa. Mm. <laughs> she goes shop. I yeah. remember one Christmas, my mom <laughs> bought this gold, and she she just dragged me and said, "Bibian, if you spoil this gold, <laughs> if it gets missing, get missing with it." <laughs> Don't go back, you know. So I think Christmas is a beautiful time. Yeah, what, there was is. the ritual we used to do when I was growing up with my friends. In the morning, we usually go for night mass. Mm. Once we're done with that, in the morning, we cook, we do all the works in the house. And when we're done with that, in the evening, because it was a big estate, and we would walk around mm. to our friend's place. We had different places we used to go. Not like we're wearing glasses like those children in Benin, no? Ah. <laughs> I'm coming to Benin, but let me come to Mori. So, Mori, what did you do today? Uh, I told you that uh, you know, just want to embarrass me on live TV, but it's okay. I'll tell them. I'll tell everybody. <laughs> no. So I ate a food that was not that didn't go well with my system. I've been going to the bathroom since morning. That's what I did all day, just laying there, going to the bathroom and feeding Pfizer. That was how my Christmas went. Should we call okay, I'll blame it on adulthood. <laughs> should, um, we, should we call out the person that gave you the food so that we'll just look for the person? I've, really dealt with her. I've been dealing with her since my. I don't know if I see her leg in my house again, I'm going to finish her. <laughs> you know, but well, you know, when, when you see mentioned Benin, though, because I didn't hear a lot of fireworks, I am so sure in Benin. Benin. Forget it, that's what I'm saying, no fire. You see, eh? We did. That is the time they would even do it. Let the me most. let me even give you G. So when we there were a few Christmas that we spent with our grandpa in Benin mm. when he was still alive, mm. right? I remember one particular Christmas. Oh my God! So we now did. You know this way rival family. Mm. You know the house facing you. Mm. So it is like um, a war on who has the uh, biggest firework. Fire fireworks. So we would <laughs> we would we would light the uh, what they call the banger. Mm. 
and throw it to the house. Mm -hmm. They will throw back. Mm -hmm. we will, so that was her so way to competition. Now. Let me give you Gigi's. <laughs> My cousin, they now brought eight in one rocket. Mm -hmm. You know the eight in one rocket, you shake that it comes out. Back to back. And we were doing it. I don't know what happened. Somebody now faced the rocket down. <laughs> oh my God, did it pass through my cousins? <laughs> I can't forget that day. In fact, uh, after that day, I think he got humbled. He stopped. <laughs> he got very scared, you know. But it, it, was, it was so fun, you know. And you could move around. You could go out at night. You know, Christmas night, you can't sleep. You have to be up. You have to be awake. Look, it, in Benin, 24th mm. was Christmas. You have to make your hair 24th. 24th was Christmas for mm. us, to be candid. And 25th was, you know, like I said, you do all what you have mm. to do during the day. Mm -hmm. And you rest in, um, yeah. during the, the day. And in the evening is actually when you actually Absolutely. Step back. You know, it was you even know? also in, in Lagos, I realized that salons actually close. Because in mm. Benin, hmm. the salons will start to work from huh. 20th or maybe even 23rd. All the way, they'll be, they'll be sleeping in their salons, overnight work, because mm. everybody wants to make Christmas hair, right? You know what? One, that's <laughs> the time, times have really changed. Times have really changed. Mm. And that, that, that's the time you actually know those who are really your mm -hmm. friends, to be candid. Mm -hmm. Because if they think about you, that's when you say, ah, you see, ah, we have one. We can go to, let's hang out, mm -hmm. let's do this, let's do that. Or, ah, what did your mommy cook? Mm. Ah, I'm, I prepared pepper soup. Mm. Did you prepare pepper soup? No, I'll bring pepper soup to your house and you bring <laughs> the fried rice to my house. You know, just like that. It yeah. was fun and it was, it was so pure. Mm. You know, not like now that it's all about booty booty when you go to the <laughs> club. <laughs> <laughs> there was something really pure about um, you know Christmas growing up. We're going to bring in some of our audience. Someone says, Angela says, I have been sleeping all day, oh. and um, I ate noodles. Just wanted to, just wanted a restful Christmas. Merry Christmas! Thank you, Angela. We're going to take a lot more um, comments. comments. You know, um, I think let me just quickly take one more. Mm. I spent Christmas with family, cooking and having lots of fun. Mm -hmm. um, means uh fun means m means uh fun means kids glued to games and asking when their christmas presents will arrive <laughs> and present in this, in this <laughs> present in this economy ah that's <laughs> liar for mikeja you know so but uh, um but um no i want to even to come to mori mori so did you even get any apart from the food that has that has rendered you <laughs> very <laughs> You look, <laughs> you look really, really drained, <laughs> drained, dehydrated. But apart from this food that has rendered you dehydrated, what are what other things? I mean, did you receive for Christmas today? You know, did you get well, messages? Well, not today particularly. Maybe like um, prior to today, I got like ampers, you know, um, fruit gifts just from like few friends. But um, it's quite understandable that the gifts were not as much as last year because yeah. of how the year went. Mm. You know, but some people were still thoughtful enough to like, you know, send like little stuff here and there. And I'm very, very thankful. But that was that was before the incident or you know <laughs> what happened today. Plus growing up Christmas, like you know how I said I had Christmas friends. Mm -hmm. Um we used to go to the movies. I remember Ozone was the in thing that time. So yeah. I would go to their house. After eating their mommy's jollof, we would all like wear like our best outfits and mm -hmm. go to ozone. You know, not we didn't even know used to watch movies. We we'll just sit down just and, hang the, out. <laughs> and, and take the, ice cream. You know, all those people would litter the cinema with our fine clothes. Us, us just literally walking around the whole of Lagos aimlessly, but it was fun. It was, it was fun, was right? The memories that I but, had. And but what's the what's the one thing you miss though? If you want to compare what Christmas is today. Mm. and what it was, mm -hmm. you know, growing up. What would be the one thing that you missed? I miss going to the village to meet my grandma. Wow. Yes, because back then we, we had, uh, we are about 47 grandchildren. Whoa. Yes, my, my grandma had about 10 kids. And then we were the adults, so we used to give all the rest their bath. And, <laughs> you know, it was a big house. It was a full house, and everybody came around for Christmas. And we stayed into the new year, and it was so much fun. I think that was the thing that I really missed so much. Mm. And because we were, we were a close-knit family, mm. but now we had to do a lot of our 
interaction via Zoom yeah, because some of them are abroad. Today. Yes, some of them are abroad. Some of them are here in Lagos. Some of them are in Abuja. So we had to find a way to still communicate, but it's still not the same thing mm -hmm. as when we were kids. Yeah. How about you, Mori? Is there something you miss, you know? It will be my neighbors for the year, man. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mori, you cannot surprise me. <laughs> But I miss the most. I can't describe that Panedia. Why the thing is it's oh, heavenly. She doesn't even live in our house again. Yeah, I'm going there to visit her today. That's just because of the food. But that's that's because well, you wake up to the sound of the bar. But that's how you know that. Okay, it is in in your, that's how you call it in your <laughs> language. That in your no, yes, like it draws with your, your, it follows your, oh my goodness, so good. There is something, <laughs> so good. There is something called Ogbele Kokomiyo yes. in um, Ishakiri. Yes. I think the woman has given you Ogbele Kokomiyo. You see, what's that? So it's uh, like, it's um, like a love passion. It's like, it's like when you eat the food, you can never forget the person. It's like love portion. <laughs> oh, just, yeah. all, all you can I think, think of did. is, oh, that food. And you just keep going <laughs> right after that woman. Oh, give me All right. Me. Oh, my God. We're having so much fun. But we have to take a break. Uh, when we return, we also want to invite uh, someone. Uh, she's a friend of the house, you know, Noma Ifanga, to also share her fun memories and also what she's doing today and uh, being Christmas Day. Stay with us. We'll be right back.